Did Kyrie Irving and Novak Djokovic beat the system? Let's talk about it. Oh, yeah, talk now. Kyrie Irving, basketball player, Novak Djokovic, tennis player. Now, Novak Djokovic is probably the greatest tennis player that ever lived. He is currently tied with Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal at 20 Grand Slams apiece. He has a chance to break that tie and get to 21 at the Australian Open. But of course, he has to contend with Rafael Nadal, who will also be there. Roger Federer is out on injury. And uh, Kyrie Irving, basketball player, one of the greatest point guards ever, has crazy handles, plays for the Brooklyn Nets, won a championship with the Cleveland Cavaliers and LeBron James. Now, what do these two guys have in common? Well, they're two supremely talented athletes that have taken a stand against mandatory vaccinations. Now, if you haven't been living under a rock, you know that most of the governments in Europe, Australia, and uh, now America is becoming like that, are mandating vaccinations for for people before they can go into buildings, before they can work. Um, basically, mandating COVID-19 vaccinations. Now, if you refuse, they call you an anti-vaxxer. So that's what Kyrie Irving and Djokovic are now anti-vaxxers. I've always thought that term was a little weird because if you take the polio vaccine, the MMR vaccine, but you refuse the COVID-19 vaccine, does that mean you're an anti-vaxxer? I think a better term would be you're an anti-COVID-19 vaxxer. <laughs> you know, I could like beer, but I may not like wine. That doesn't mean I'm anti-alcohol, right? So uh, that never really made sense to me. But coming back to the topic of this video, did Kyrie Irving and Djokovic beat the system? Well, let's take a look. Let's start with Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is a basketball player. He said he doesn't want to get the COVID-19 vaccination. The NBA Players Union negotiated that it's not going to be mandatory for the players to get the COVID-19 vaccination. Then coming into the year, the New York governor, the New York mayor, uh, de Blasio, now put a rule that basically said... You cannot enter a building if you are not vaccinated. And so, because Kyrie Irving was not vaccinated and he plays for New York, he couldn't get into the building. And as a result, he couldn't play without being vaccinated, even though that was something that uh, the Players Union had already negotiated. And then the team, his team, the uh, Brooklyn Nets, decided that if he's not going to play with them at home, they're not going to let him play uh, away either. Now, fast forward to today, uh, it turns out that um, all the vaccinated players that were on the Brooklyn Nets, uh, they all caught COVID one after the other and had to skip games. And eventually, they had to bring back the unvaccinated Kyrie Irving to play because they didn't have enough players. So I say to you guys, uh, why didn't they just do that in the beginning? What has changed? Or maybe they have finally realized that uh, not being vaccinated doesn't mean that he has COVID. It just means that he's not vaccinated. I think they finally understand that. So did Kyrie beat the system? I think so. Because if you think about it like this, he was kicked out of the team because he was unvaccinated and unclean. And he was brought back to save the team because all the vaccinated players couldn't play. I'd say he's a winner right there. Now let's switch over to Djokovic. Djokovic, tennis player, also refused to get the vaccination. Um, went over to Australia to play on a medical exemption. And then he was put in a concentration, well not a concentration camp, but in like an immigra immigration hotel for like a whole weekend and waited for the court case. And then he was going to get deported because he had the wrong kind of visa. And so my question here is, uh, did Djokovic issue the visa to himself? When you get a visa to go to a country, isn't the country the people that issue the visa to you? Like if I was to go to Australia, I would go to the Australian embassy and the Australian embassy would give me a visa and tell me, okay, this is how you're gonna come to Australia. I wouldn't just go into my room, create a Australian visa on my computer and print it out and then show up at the airport. So it seems weird that a guy will show up at 
in Australia with a visa that he got from Australians, and then he'll be denied. And I've been seeing a lot of uh, ish, uh, a lot of things in the news about he lied. Apparently, he had COVID, and then he went out, even though he had COVID. He went out into the world. Um, and so to that, I say, yeah, he, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't go out and spread COVID. But I also want to say, so he's unvaccinated, and he's going out into the world, and he's perfectly fine. But yet, we're constantly being told to be afraid of this crazy disease covid which one is it is it just that you want him to stay at home and be sad is there a real fear of this covid for people in his demographic yes or no because if the answer is no then why is he being forced to get the vaccination right and it looks like based on what everybody's saying he got covid and it basically didn't affect him so he was right in saying that he doesn't want to get the vaccination and if you make the argument that he's uh, going to slow the spread, well, I think we can all agree that that's complete BS. Everybody is catching and spreading COVID. There is no way to slow the spread. So now that we know that, did Djokovic beat the system? Well, we have to see whether he's still going to get to play because it looks like the Australians are going to do everything they can to send him back. But I think he beat the system because he didn't get the vaccination, he got COVID, he didn't get sick, and he's still about to go and play in the Australian Open. I think it's about time that people use these two guys as an example. And hopefully we can all move, move away from this whole COVID hysteria. Let's get rid of the mandates. If you want to get vaccinated, get vaccinated. If you don't want to get vaccinated, don't get vaccinated. If you have symptoms and you feel sick, stay at home, just like we used to do with the flu. Don't come out and start spreading your virus everywhere. But if you don't have any symptoms, then what's the problem? Why are you running around getting tested all the time, looking for something that you don't even have? So that's just my little rant today. What do you guys think? What is your view on these vaccine mandates? Do you think enough is enough? Or do you think that we need to vaccinate 100% of the world's population.